That's right. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Baby, look at this. Oh, it's awesome. Alright, so this is like just kind of a quick rundown. You can see the mod that I have. A fabric Loader. Uh, what it does is it basically bridges uh, VirtualBox into Minecraft. But there's so much more to it because it actually allows you to like virtually build the computer which I mean you basically do in VirtualBox right now I'm reinstalling Windows Vista because uh, messing around with all this I accidentally destroyed um, my virtual Windows Vista installation You're probably wondering why I like Vista it's because I just like to reminisce my operating systems folder people wonder why I use up four terabytes what I'm gonna be doing in this one I'm gonna put Windows XP on a virtual PC within Minecraft. Let's see. Oh, we use saved configuration. Uh, virtual box is already running in the background. I don't know if I can do two instances at one time. We're gonna find out. Um, let's call it <laughs> Windows XP. Never named the world that. You can do it in survival, but I mean, that's just not, that's just insane. It's a little laggy because not only do I have virtual machine running in the background, Installing Windows Vista. I'm also recording my screen 60 frames a second. Well, we aren't creative, so let's find a nice little place to build a PC. Sand. I mean, pretty sure silicone comes from sand anyway, so this is kind of cool. I'll make a little desk. That looks good. So basically, the way that you would normally do it is I mean, you would get all the parts for this stuff. Um, you would start off with the uh, ordering tablet. And uh, basically, it's kind of like uh, the way Amazon works. You order the parts, you pay for it with iron ingots, and it gets... <laughs> a drone drops it for you. But I'm not going to go through all that. I'm going to... I'm in creative, so... Let's go ahead. Let's just look at the parts. You get a CRT, flat screen, a wall TV... I kind of want the wall TV. Nah, let's go with the CRT. Nah, it's kind of hard to see. Well, do CRT at first. Yeah. There. Alright. Alright, now this is kind of boring. Wait till you get to the PC building part. I'm going to get the glass. I've always liked glass on my computer. And check it out. 32-bit motherboard, 64-bit hard drive um the, oh, we'll get to that later you can choose how much ram you're gonna give it so it takes from your physical ram from your actual system and dedicates it uh to the virtual machine um so host cpu i have i think eight cores um plus i think eight virtual i'm not sure this would take approximately half my processor dedicate half my processor to the virtual machine and then you have your graphics processing unit. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and dedicate half. We'll make it a beast machine. Let's go ahead and just do the tower. Yeah. All right. So we need to pick our motherboard. All my ISO files are 32-bit versions of the operating system. So let's go ahead and get a 32-bit board going. So you open the case. I'm gonna add my board. Check it out. Okay. Go ahead. Open the case back up. I'm gonna add my processor. And we're gonna need to get some RAM. God, I can only imagine doing this in survival. Screw that. And you just build it. sticks of RAM. I'm gonna add my GPU. Alright. So pretty much everything except for a hard drive. So whenever you get your hard drive it it works basically just like as if you're, you know, using VirtualBox. You can create a new hard drive or select an existing one. 
as I said earlier, I destroyed my Windows Vista uh, virtual drive, messing around with this, totally corrupted it. It sucks because I finally got the arrow effects to work by using an old guest editions ISO. But anyways, I, di I digress. We'll create a new hard drive. We'll give it a 10 gig hard drive. Go ahead and insert. Alright. So, we can turn it on now. But you'll notice there's not going to be anything bootable. Yeah, it's just VirtualBox. See, fatal. No bootable medium for found on system. So, Let me go ahead and find uh, my Windows XP ISO. I probably got to extract it. I'll get back to you. Windows XP Black Edition. Well, now I have X XP Pro SP3 pre-activated. I'm going to do the um, the black edition. You're going to put it yeah, into your app data. Go to .minecraft mods. I believe it's in here. No, it's not. I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, shit, where is it? Found it. It is in the .minecraft. So it's in your app data. Um, .minecraft VM computers. I was looking in the mods folder, but yeah, I forgot. Anyways, so this is where you place your ISO. Take a second. Windows XP is teeny tiny. I believe Black Edition is still getting support, I mean, from third parties. But uh, anyways, uh, I digress again. So Windows XP Professional is in the ISO folder. So back to game. It is powered off. <laughs> there we go. Let's turn it on. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, Windows Setup. Oh man, it's so hard to read the things on the screen. Alright, so... Oh god, yeah, I should have I should have uh, used the, uh, the wall mount TV, but... Jesus, it's so hard to see. I think I'm going to have to get that big, that big monitor. Yeah. Hi, put another monitor over here, so I can see a little bit better. Alright, uh, F3 was quit. Ha. Huh forget which key it was. I've installed Windows XP a million times. Well, when is Vista installed? Is it F9? No, F8. Oh, having issues. Figured it out. The recording software that I was using. Uh, F8 is a hot key to pause the recording. So back to it. Set a key to boot from CD. Oh, that's Windows XP in Minecraft. All right, and then it's just F8. Use all on a located space. Let's go to the big monitor again. NTFS file system. F for format. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. Let's go back to the other monitor. This is how it's supposed to look. There we go. Copying files. It's taking its time. It's moving right along. I'm assuming we could set up a server and everybody could have their own PCs. Like, this is just absolutely bonkers. This is crazy. Come on. Faster. Alright. Let's go ahead and just make it reboot. Oh, man. I don't think it needs to boot from the CD anymore. I should have copied everything to the virtual. Oh my god. That is so badass. Just go look at it on other screen too. Oh man. This is surreal for me. Dude. This is Black Edition too. So the setup's a little different. Yeah, we're not even going to get the uh, the Windows XP setup music. But whatever. I <laughs> move the mouse around. Oh, I'll move that. So this is, I'm just using this monitor for setup, uh, except this agreement, because um, it's easier to see. I'm going to play Minecraft all night because of this. I'm going to build a giant house just so I can have a cool setup. This is so crazy. A little update, I don't know if you care. It should be a totally separate video, but I'm not going to. I got the arrow effects working on Windows Vista again. Windows Vista wasn't really that bad. It was just way before its time. Everybody was upgrading their old XP machines with this. And 
they they just didn't have the hardware to make Vista, you know, what it was supposed to be. This is going to be the next project. I'm going to install Windows Vista, full 3D arrow effects and everything. Oh, this is so awesome to me. Install start menu items, start components. This is amazing. The oh, sun's going down again. Boop. All right. Dude, this just stupid. I love it. Oh, God. Welcome. I wonder if audio works. Really hope so. Black edition for sure. Nope. I mean, pick up the damn TV again. Okay. Oh, all right. I'm just going to skip all this. All right, you guys. There it is. It's Windows XP. Fully installed. In Minecraft. Oh, I was a creeper. I swear. Oh my god. Is pinball installed? I don't think sounds work. Which kind of sucks. No way. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no sound, but... Oh man. I'm playing pinball! No way, dude. I'm playing pinball from Windows X... Oh, it's a little... It's See, that's the worst thing about pinballs, when it goes straight down the middle. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, let's get on the internet. Oh, it's a little laggy, but... Uh, really not that bad. Google! Ooh, okay. Just gonna kind of scroll all over. Let me type, let me type. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay. So, I'm on Facebook, but the way this is working... Oh, we got to change the time again. Time. Okay. I can't post on the regular website. The, the post button doesn't come up. So, what I have to do is... I went to m.facebook.com, the mobile version, and I've typed, Hello World. And it will let me click it. Oh, wait, wait, it worked. Yes. <laughs> I posted a status on Facebook on Windows XP in Minecraft. This is too much, man. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. I mean, oh, wait, I got an idea. It just mirrors every screen. Oh my god. <laughs> I got an idea. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Baby, look at this. Oh, it's awesome. No freaking way. Well, that about wraps it up. Go ahead, power it down. <laughs> oh my god. Turn it on. That's right.